Okay, so we have a headband and you want to uh, take some ribbon and you measure it around. Leave a little bit extra for seam allowance. So we're going to take two pieces. Sew them together like this, right, uh, wrong sides together. So you have my shiny side out. We're going to sew, boom, all the way down here, all the way here. Leave both ends open. And we're going to fit it on and then we're just going to hand sew the ends down. Okay, so you cut out all your pieces. So you have the cone top. This is one piece of felt and then a piece of interfacing. Okay, so this is the fusible kind. Uh, I recommend using the fusible kind because then it makes it a bit more sticky. So we have this piece. That's this. And then we have here. We need two circles. So one the top and the bottom. Because if you just fuse it like this and then you wear it on your hat, it won't sit really flat on your head. So people will be able to see the white part. That's why we have two pieces so that later we'll sew these together. So it'll be brown on both sides. Okay, but you only need interfacing for one of them. Okay, and cut this a little bit smaller than the actual circle. For this one, you can cut the same size, okay? Okay, so we place our pieces like this. Get your iron. Now we have the cone. We fold this in half. Then we're gonna sew the seam here. Um, you can put some pins in if it makes you happy, but normally I don't use pins, I just sew. Here, I'll just show you, we'll just put some pins. Okay, so now we're going to sewing. The seam allowance I use is not really a seam allowance. What is this? Probably a bit less than one centimeter. I line it up with the outside of my presser foot. Okay, so after you finish sewing the seam, just to help, you just clip the, the pointy edge a bit. You can cut this down a bit. And then we're going to flip this. Okay, and use a chopstick here to help bring the point out. Be gentle. Sometimes if you're too rough and you push it too hard, you'll poke a hole. So after we finished ironing on the fusible, you place this down and you can just draw out because it's in with the, with the pencil. And then we're just going to cut the hole out. Okay, so we have the two pieces. Now we need to sew it, so I normally start at the back seam and then we're going to sew around. This requires a little bit of like fishing and going slowly. If you need to, you can pin. I'm not going to pin. So here we go. So now we finished the hat and we've sewn it on. At this stage, you want to plan what your design was going to be and what the finished look will be. So that way you can decide whether you should sew this first because this um, thing is pretty much going to cover all of, well, it's going to cover the inside and it's cover all your stitching. So I'm planning on having this kind of little side thing. I'm planning this little piece that's going to hang on the side of the head. Okay, so that's going to drape. So I'm going to actually sew this in first, just so this hangs off the side before I pretty much put the cover on because I don't want the stitching. So I'm going to go here and then I have this ribbon that's going to go around. But this I can do afterwards because I'm going to glue this in and I'm going to put a bow and maybe. Okay, so I just base it on this little side. Um, what is this thing called? Lacy thing. And um, I added a little bit of stuffing on the inside. This is just so it can help keep its shape. You obviously don't want to overstuff it or else it would look lumpy and um, lopsided. So now we're going to attach the cover pretty much. So you're going to go like this. We're going to sew all the way around. I'm going to base that, but if you're just um, leaving it as the final, do a proper stitch. So I'm going to base that and afterwards I'm going to sew this brown braid around the um, circumference of the circle. After you finish basting the two layers together, you'll notice that the bottom one will be a little bit bigger or it might be a bit matching. So you just take your scissors and you clip it so that they're both even. 
And as you can see, when you do two layers and when you sew with the felt, the way when it sews, it looks like, like a finished nice seam. So you can leave it like this. And so right now I'm adding extra braid here. So I made the casing for the headband and I also just used the hand needle, hand sewing and you close the ends off on both sides. And then I glue gun this um, ribbon on the outside. Don't worry about this because we're going to put something there to cover it. So now you want to try this on and you want to figure out where because you can, well if you want it in the center of your head you can do it like that but I want, I think it's a little bit nicer, a little bit to the side. So try it on, figure out the positioning and then also to, um, take another hand sewing needle and you're just going to have to just base it down. And afterwards I'm going to add a bit of extra glue for more stability.